Hey, it's raining here. Let's get started. I'm not an expert in any shape or form. I just want to share with you how I've learned how to do it. As explained in the title, I'm going to show you how to cover spots. The best foundation I found to cover, that was like absolutely massive to be honest with you. I don't even know where. So this is by Rimmel. I don't know whether it's Rimmel or Rimmel, but it is such a good colour corrector. So you've got your green for the redness. I'm going to show you. So as you can see, I've used them all quite a lot. I'm just going to put it over, as you can see. But that is like completely and utterly covered up. So you can use it as a concealer as well, actually, come to think of it, as long as you've got the same shade. Because the other shade that I had in the Ultimate cover was literally like white as a ghost. And I was like trying to mix two foundations together. It was hilarious. Well, not hilarious, but interesting, let's see. Powder is your best friend when it comes to things like this because they will just flawlessly cover those blemishes. So it says, came across in Home Bargains, Ultimate Cover by W7. Normally, I don't even rate their products that much, if that makes sense. Maybe a few, but not many, to be honest with you, in all honesty. Hopefully the powder will actually set into the skin where it's trying to heal just gonna put some up here as well and then just dab it in again you don't actually get that much in here but it is actually just spray it so i've already sprayed it just using i think it's called a per blurring set and spray but any sort of spray will do if you just make sure you've actually wet your beauty blender i'm just gonna dab it in Oh, I'm using the wrong side, actually. That was for the blusher. So I'm just going to dab it in. So this looks like this, obviously. It's got vitamin E in it. It's by Sunkiss. So I thought, hmm, this could be quite interesting. Not sure what this is going to be like. I only bought it, like, literally the day. But any sort of powder, as long as it matches in with your skin tone, will be fine. So I've just got some setting powder. I also wanted to add in... The redness has actually faded, which is what we wanted. Can always put like a tiny bit more on just from the excess if you really, really wanted. And oh, well, obviously, that's from my finger, but you can see the redness has actually gone, but you could keep on repeating that. And then just blend it in. Maybe leave it a bit longer if you want. But that's more or less how I cover my spots. I just thought it might help you. Um, and that foundation. I don't really think that many people have actually heard about it. Because I wasn't really even that aware. Even I find it works on my skin even better. So I was like, hmm, maybe it'll actually help you find out which one's actually work better for you but as long as you've got your right shade just make sure you have blended it in properly you can see it works fine if you do try it tag me make a video yeah you know what i mean so i've left it to dry like a few seconds i'm just gonna start patting gently like around it it's back and then i'm just gonna put some more on obviously so say like that much. So because it's such a sticky formula, it works so, so well. At first I was like, sticky icky. But now I'm literally like, this actually works so, so well for covering up. As you can see. So you can still see the redness a bit. Maybe if I put it on like a double layer, I probably will need to. Oh, wait a minute. No, it has actually gone, hasn't it? You can't see the redness. So maybe it's just the winter, God knows. But yeah, well, I'll probably like put on a bit more. 
and then just leave it yeah so if I go and leave it just to harbour into my skin harbour hmm, my boat but you know that's what I'm thinking anyway so I'm just gonna tapity tap do you like my band so you can see how good is that like can't even see it crazy but this one here this is like I don't even know what it is it's like a red spot basically it's infection anyway I don't normally come out with as many breakouts but you know it's that kind of weather so I'm going to show you also how to calm the redness down so this is just for my personal experience So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start at the top. Obviously, you can see it's already like fully, fully covered. It's like amazing match for me. You just want to make sure that it is quite covered. I haven't really used that much, as you can see. But I think this might be a quite close. So this is the shade that I picked up in a beauty outlet in Talk. So all I'm going to do is... I think it's my same shade, I'm not exactly sure. It's quite a sticky formula, so you can see it's quite sticky. And then I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it for a few seconds, if that makes sense. I have already primed, I just need to put my SPF on, baby. Anyway, moving on swiftly. So this is the first time I'm gonna be using this shade. Oh, can you hear the birds? Sorry if you can. I think it's the crows or the seagulls having a bit of a fight. You want to also make sure you use a blender. It's much, much easier and more effective in my experience. But this is the best foundation. It's high coverage. It's quite a sticky texture, which is what you want. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.